Hello everybody. Welcome to our Real Estate Ramble. Today's topic is what to expect when you're inspecting. Today I'm hanging out with Jeff Broussard and he is one of my highly respected and trusted inspectors with ProTech Inspection Services. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks so much for thanks. having me this morning. Yeah, thanks for joining us in the studio. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about ProTech. You've been inspecting for over 30 years. Yes, ma'am. As a company, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. And over those 30 years, we've actually completed over 40,000 inspections. That's a lot of homes. Oh, it absolutely is. And this year alone, we actually inspected over $2 billion worth of real estate. Oh, wow. And so we have the ability to make an impact on many people's lives, which is our main goal. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. So, yes, ma'am. Um, so we're happy to have you. Thank you for joining us. So let's just launch right into our topic um, of what to expect when you're inspecting. Overall, Jeff, is there a really good reason not to inspect a home that you're buying or even selling? Uh, not in my opinion. Every inspection that we've ever done, we found some sort of item that needs to be repaired and most of the time we're finding a couple dozen items uh, issues that need to be addressed and in some cases we may even be finding a hundred different issues inside of a home. So one of the most common uh, misconceptions that we hear is that, you know, the house is new. It doesn't need to be inspected uh. and that's quite the contrary. Um, I actually just did a new house yesterday and we found active basement dampness that was occurring. We mm. found plumbing leaks. We found issues with the insulation being installed properly. So new doesn't always necessarily mean perfect. It just means the material, materials used are new. Um, you know, the other one that kind of ties into that is uh, the renovated properties or the, the flipped homes. Everybody thinks, oh, the house has been, you know, renovated from top to bottom. I don't need to worry about anything. And once again, those ones, the expectations uh, usually aren't set quite right going into the in inspection because they assume everything's going to be new. There's not going to be problems. And honestly, with those homes, we usually find the most problems um, that are surprises. Uh, it's always about what you can't see. Uh, and what's going on behind the walls and in the attic and in the yeah. crawl space, that kind of so stuff. So we're talking about maybe a flip, but sometimes just a seller renovated the house. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. so maybe it wasn't uh, done maliciously. Oh, no, it's never done intentionally. I, I sure hope not. Never. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes uh, upgrades. Uh, never. We would never do that <laughs> intentionally. Uh, but Ever. sometimes uh, recent upgrades may be unintentionally masking problems that, mm -hmm. that uh, a right. good trained inspector can see right through still. Right. Mm -hmm. In some cases, you know, especially when it comes to spring coming up, I would imagine the market's going to be pretty competitive. Oh, yeah. Where there's going to be multiple offers going in on properties. And a lot of times people don't want to do an inspection because they don't want to lose the deal. And yeah, uh, one of the things that we offer to kind of help with that is uh, a pre-contract walk and talk. And just by having an expert go through the property with you for an hour and really just focus on the big ticket things. What's the uh, condition of the roof and the age? Um, what about the HVAC equipment or the water heater or the overall condition of the electrical? Just by spending an hour with us in the property, you can have a better understanding of what those big systems uh, may need over the upcoming years. And that way you can be a little bit more uh, educated when you make that aggressive offer to win oh, the house of your dreams. That's pretty, that's pretty slick. That's a yeah. really good idea. So you're talking about a shorter inspection, possibly a cheaper inspection? Oh, it's absolutely cheaper. Yeah, yeah the price is cut in half and in some cases by a third. Yeah. So you're not getting the full blown colorful report that ProTech issues, which by the way, their inspection reports are wonderful. They're so easy to read. It's so much faster to go through the findings. When stuff is in red, you want to read that right away. And the color coding definitely mm -hmm. helps. It's very well organized as well. So uh, when you wrap up your home inspection, Protex uh, inspection reports are, are fantastic. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And when we're doing those walk and talks, we um, specifically tell the clients the important keynotes that they need to make note of while we're okay. going through. Okay. So none of that valuable information is, is wasted. Sounds like a really great option when you're competing 
and for buyers, but what about sellers? So with uh, sellers, a lot of times they want to think, oh, well, uh, we'll let the buyers do their inspection. There's no benefit or value in me uh, doing an inspection myself. And the way I like to look at that is, wouldn't you like to know the answers to the test ahead of time? And most importantly, there is huge value in doing a, a, what we call a pre-listing inspection. You know, before the house is on the market and you're under contract and you're under these time frames that are in the contingency, it's really nice to have us come through, identify any problems. And if there is a big thing that needs to be addressed, now you, you can shop around. You can get multiple bids on having the work uh, uh, completed. And that way you're not just like the first guy that's available, you're at his mercy. You know, he may be overcharging you for whatever the repair may cost. And you can kind of help avoid that uh, from happening. And then, um, with that also, you can also have the ability to disclose anything that you don't want to repair. That way when another uh, inspector comes through with the buyer, there's no surprises. When there's um, when everybody's uh, clear on what the condition of the house is, expectations are where they need to be and it usually ends in a nice, easy transaction. That really makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of sellers who are leering, leery about doing a pre listing inspection um, they're saying to themselves you know the house works everything works you know I've lived here for 30 years everything works why would I do that you know okay. let the buyer pay I think it's smart to know ahead of time and if nothing else hire protect to come through with their see through the walls camera <laughs> and see if there's any water that's one of the most expensive things um, we'll probably need to do a different video on um, you know some of those real estate whammies yeah right that come up in a lot of transactions that kind of get ready to derail the the, the uh, transaction so yeah water is um, usually at the water's root cause of all of those yeah it's mm -hmm. not my best friend as a homeowner you know except for clean drinking water that's my best friend <laughs> Outside of that, I don't want it in my walls. I don't want it all over the floors. And how do you really know it's there until it manifests itself in some way like it with um, that dirty M word? Yeah. That organic, uh, possible organic. Microbial, like microbial growth. Microbial growth, yeah. <laughs> Mold. Uh, you don't want to get that far. So it might be a good idea to hire these guys a couple of years ahead of time if you think you might be listing your home in five years mm -hmm. let's get ahead of that water issue and find out about it now repair it now before it becomes mold and then you won't have any issues when you get ready to sell so um, so that's good mm -hmm. that's fantastic so now we know we're inspecting yeah so we are solidly under contract yay that's exciting we, that's we, very we, exciting we, we <laughs> are turning in our earnest money deposit and we're ready to go. Next step is to schedule the inspection. Oh my gosh, we just found out it's 10 o'clock at night. What do we do? So what are the scheduling options with ProTech? Well, with uh, ProTech, we actually have uh, live staff. You're always gonna get somebody, a real person, taking your call when you call us. And we're available seven days a week, always waiting for your call. We also have a online scheduling system where you can reserve in a, a, a time slot online. Um, with the way the, um, uh, everybody's life is so busy these days, it's yep. really convenient just to be able to go online, you pick the time slot that works the best for you, and then one of our um, client care coordinators will call you and you know make, uh, make sure that our quote's good for you and make sure that you get the inspector that you want as well. Um, and our um, client care coordinators are actually the best in the industry. Um, they are cross-trained, um, so they can really uh, answer any questions that you may have about mold testing, radon uh, testing, or doing termite inspections. They are all very familiar with those services that we offer. Your client care coordinators are incredible. I appreciate um, that. Yeah, I mean, I can personally vouch for the fact that if a contract says that we only have three days to inspect and I'm panicking, I can pick up the phone and call if, you know, 10 o'clock at night is pushing it. And I did that once and somebody actually answered the phone. Yeah. So if not that, then if it's 3 a.m. or whatever, I can go on your website and schedule something. And I know that a real life person is going to call me back and say, hey, Joie, I noticed that you scheduled an inspection for 
uh, home inspection and a radon, possibly termite. I just want to verify that mm -hmm. and the price and the time and here's who your inspector is going to be. Or if I have my favorite inspector, I can actually put in a request for inspector. So scheduling is a breeze mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. So let's talk about during the inspection. Absolutely. What should I show up and, ins and, and expect? I've, I've actually shown up to inspections um, on time or slightly ahead of time and seen you guys on the roof. We try our best. So, yep. so what do I expect during the inspection? And, and also, um, you know, do I have to hang out with you the entire time or can I just play Candy Crush? while you're doing the inspection. Yeah, we try to keep the Candy Crush and Angry, angry Birds to a minimum. Uh, your home inspection is not only to determine the condition of the home, but also to help you uh, educate on how to maintain the home. You know, everybody needs to know where the main water shutoff valve is, where do we change our furnace filters, how do I turn off all the electricity to the home if there's ever an issue, how do I adjust the hot water temperature if I want to, and so being present and following the inspector around, we can um, uh, teach you all those fun things about your home. And then, you know, we're going to find uh, concerns as we're going through. And it's really nice if the uh, purchaser is able to see those firsthand and ask any questions while we're right there standing in front of it. We are always available to answer your questions after the fact, but it is so much easier to make sure that we are all on the same page when we're standing there looking uh, at it in front of ourselves right now. I'm so glad you said that yeah. because I countless times my client calls me and they're asking me inspection questions <laughs> because they were playing Candy Crush or they had to take a, a, a conference call outside. You know, I understand life is busy and all that, but if you can at all plan to be present and aware of what's going on during the time of your home inspection, Remember a lot of times this is your only opportunity to get inside the house and really take a look and learn about that house before the final walkthrough. You're about to make the biggest purchase of your life. You should pay attention, I think, mm -hmm. right? Oh, absolutely. And you know, you probably spend 15 minutes at the house during the initial showing to be able to spend two or three hours around the home. It, it, it is really beneficial and we try our best to keep it entertaining. Um, but we, you know, we'll make sure that you are um, really paying attention to the big uh, talking points of the inspection. And if you get bored, it's a perfect time to measure the curtains so that you can start doing some shopping ahead of time. So that way when you move in, it can start to feel like your own home as quickly as possible. Now um, with our inspectors, we train them all to operate on protect time, which means that you're supposed to be at your inspection 15 minutes before it starts. Um, that way we can get a head start on the outside and if the roof is accessible, jump up there and start getting a good look at everything. Um, with our, our roof inspections, uh, whenever it's a single story home and this pitch isn't too, um, too steep, we're able to get up there and get a real thorough look on there. Um, in some cases, when it's a second story home, we can also get up there, but it has to be reachable with our 14 foot ladder one way or another. Now, in the houses that we can't get onto the roof, we make sure that we spend extra time in the attic uh, going through and looking for any signs of leaks that may be occurring. And then, um, you know, houses, when they have attics and crawl spaces, that's when our inspectors really earn their money. Uh, we make sure that we go to the far reaches of the crawl space and the far reaches of the attic um, because for some reason, that's where the problems always seem to be hiding. It's in those areas that Amen. people never go to. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, speaking of attics, what about critters? So there are some limitations to a home inspection. If we, obviously if we see any critters in the attic or if we see droppings and stuff like that, uh, we do comment on their activity and then generally we'll recommend that you have a pest control guy uh, come out and get a good look at that uh, concern. Um, but yeah, we can't guarantee that any house will will not have any kind of critter activity. And unfortunately, it is one of the joys of owning a home is dealing with a mouse from time to time. So that, that brings up the next section of mm -hmm. this uh, conversation, what not to expect. So clearly, if I'm inspecting in the winter, um, come spring, mm -hmm. I might see, you know, some uninvited, non-rent paying guests <laughs> crawl into my house yes. 
Um, you know, obviously I'm not, I, well, it's obvious to me because I'm a real estate agent and I follow the inspectors around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I know that they, that client should not expect um, a, an inspector to tell them about rodent activity at a different time of the year or whatever. What else can, can clients not expect an inspection to cover? So um, while we go through and do our inspection, we are generally looking for problems that are going to be more than $500 or so to fix. And unfortunately, you could give me a week, but I would not be able to spend a week in a home and find every last little problem in there. Um, I've been living in my own home for over a year now, and every once in a while when I'm laying in bed, I'll look up and, man, you know what? When did that little piece of trim come loose? You know, things change over time and there's always going to be some minor problems in a home. Um, but what we want to make sure is that, um, is the plumbing in good shape? Are there any plumbing leaks? You know, is there any major electrical issues? You know, those big ticket items really being under control. Um, we have these infrared cameras that allow us to look at walls and get an idea of what's going on behind them. However, we can't actually see what's actually going on through a wall or what's going on above the ceiling or beneath the floor or anything like that. So yeah, unfortunately we can't magically see through walls. Yeah. Uh, once they have x-ray vision implants available, I promise you our inspectors will be the first to get on I'm those. I'm sure he'll be the first guy <laughs> to have it too. So so speaking of, mm -hmm. speaking of the see through the walls camera, I yeah. call it see through the walls camera, you can technically not see through walls guys. I mean, come on. But moisture. What it what the infrared cameras do for us is that it me, uh, measures the temperature of a wall and portrays it as our as an image. And with our training, we can look at those images, and that helps give us indications of what's going on behind the wall. For instance, if there's a big blue spot that's in the size of a rectangle, a perfect rectangle, that tells us there's a piece of missing insulation. If we see a a, a blue spot on a wall that is kind of odd shaped, well, that may be something uh, going on with moisture. And then that's when we kind of further investigate with our moisture meters to see if anything's wet or dry back behind them. Um, falling back on those limitations, the um, other one is gonna be, we can't predict the future on nice. items or when things are gonna break. You know, if we see a, a, a 25 year old furnace and it's working fine today, well, we normally say they last about 20 to 25 years. So we can't guarantee that you know next uh, winter that it's also going to be working. Yeah. Um, so we can only uh, give you the range of what it, the life expectancy of items are. Floor creaks. It might not creak today. A week after, yeah. you know, somebody did something so that it didn't creak while it was on the market or while it was being inspected. But a week after, the floor starts creaking. Can't really predict that. You right, know, you, right. you can try to you know come up with a fix for it, but there there's always going to be something as a homeowner that you'll have to keep your eye on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, that's part of the joy of being a homeowner, but exactly. at the same time, there's nothing like owning your own castle, regardless of whether the floor creaks every once in a while. Um, just makes it that much more charming. So, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, so sum it up for me, Doc. How bad is it? Well, you know, we always want to make sure um, at the end of our inspection that we kind of bring everything back to earth because uh, we're, we're rattling off a lot of information over a three-hour period where it will be overwhelming uh, in most cases okay. so at the end of all of our inspections we make sure that we take five or ten minutes to kind of go through the big ticket items that we found and then kind of give a, a, a general summary of all the other stuff that we were going through and keep in mind when we're looking at a home in a given neighborhood the problems that we are finding are generally going to be typical to the age of the uh, building and to the area that they're located in. Um, you know, for instance, if we do a, a radon test on a home and it comes back with high radon and you're really worried about that, well, unfortunately, most of the homes in that neighborhood are likely to come up high with radon um, just because uh, of the nature of the uh, elements there. Um, we also want to make sure that if there is a big problem that we discovered that we're aware of it that it's a unique problem but the good news is it's going to be fixable um, so one thing to keep in mind is you know what are the main problems that um, came up during the inspection and feel free to ask the inspector that that way you're you're clearly all on the same page at that point 
Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So are you still under contract or not after that? Um, it's really up to you. Like Jeff said, no perfect house. There, mm -hmm. there are houses that can be fixed, which is pretty much every house. Every, every house, house can be fixed. The question is, are you gonna fix it as the buyer? Are you gonna fix your own home as the seller? Or are you gonna make the other party of the transaction fix it? Um, either way, you decide using good information. So once you have the information, that knowledge, that wonderful, uh, you know, fully color-coded report, or just your notes, you feel like the other party should fix it, you're gonna stay under contract and you're gonna, you're just gonna settle and it's gonna be a fantastic house for you. Um, you know, and like Jeff said, ProTech has been around to answer questions for me. I actually use ProTech to inspect awesome. my house uh, oh, four nice, years nice. ago, yep. And uh, I had a long track record of doing right by my clients, doing right by me. And one of the things that I think is a good idea when you're looking for an inspection company, I have a lot of clients like, should I just go with the one you recommend or should I do my own? research should I go on Yelp or whatever feel free to, to search around and I'm not telling you not to um, in the absence of value decisions are made on price this is not one of those situations where you want to make a decision about who to hire to inspect your multi like very expensive home you're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for this home mm -hmm. don't make that decision on price this is a one-time fee that you're gonna pay somebody to really dig in and figure out what problems exist with the house. What are the glaring things? What could possibly, um, you know, be a big burden after settlement for me that I want to know about? Um, so that's why I think that it's a good idea for you to look at Protech. You're going to go to their website. It's Protech-inspections.com and find the little section that says "Why choose us?" Because there. They really do set themselves apart. You're not making the decision because they told you the price and you like it or you don't like it. And I'm not gonna say they're the most expensive and I'm not gonna say they're the cheapest, but it's important to know what you're comparing against. And, um, you know, so I'll put the link uh, to ProTech and the Why Choose Us section in um, the, the comment section so that you can learn more about this company. Uh, they also have fantastic resources on their website. And, um, you know, when you're going and buying a home, um, there's a lot of moving parts to get you from the initial look at the home all the way to the closing table. And when your inspector, your realtor, the lender, and everybody's working as a team, things go much more smoother throughout the entire transaction. Sounds good. I mm -hmm. love having great team members aboard my ship. Yeah. So I should say that um, regardless of the inspector, Protect sends to you, or if you choose one, they're all so very highly trained. They're, they have ongoing training. Absolutely. Um, that I, I really appreciate that because, you know, there are some inspectors in our industry that will miss things, and it, it's probably because they haven't gotten the ongoing training that they really need to stay abreast of the changes in the industry. Mm -hmm. So, um, as a real estate agent, I feel good because I get ongoing training. I expect the same of my partners. So um, that's why I choose ProTech. And uh, I would like to say thank you so much for joining us today on our real estate ramble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ProTech's YouTube channel. I put the, uh, the links in the comment section. Um, and then also you can follow me on social media any of my social media channels at Joie the Realtor. That's at J O I E the Realtor. Um, you can also find ProTech all over. Let me see. It's ProTech Inspection Services on Facebook, and I think that's their main social media outlet. Yes, ma'am. They also have a great Instagram at ProTech, ProTech underscore inspections on Instagram, at ProTech Inspect on Twitter. So thank you again for joining us. High oh. five to my partners. And yes, yes. I will see you at the next home inspection.